Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Somehow I managed to forget to tell you that pearls also recover health. For every five pearls you collect, you recover one heart on your life meter at the bottom right corner. I have no idea how I forgot to mention that, but anyway, let's go over to 1-4 Big Squiddy Brawl. Oh yeah, it's rematch time, and who are these two? Let's find out, shall we? It's Fat Cat, the best DJ around. Oh wait, what? No, never mind. Oh, oh it's Starfy. Or I'm Fat Cat, and this is little. I mean, this little darling is my daughter, Kitfish. Wow, well, I've never been a prince. Hey, what can you do, huh? Act like a prince. Do it. Do it. What? How do you? D never mind. <laughs> What are you doing here? Are you on an adventure? Is that a clan with you? Do you? Wow, so many questions. Oh, manners, Kitfish. Yes, Starfy. I did see a long-eared fellow run past here. What's that? Crystal shards. I think I have seen something like that around here. Oh, sadness. Big Squiddy snatched one of those up. Oh, a strange stone. It's hot, then cold, then hot again. That's, that is a very strange stone. I've never heard of one that just changes temperature sporadically. I know what I want to do, I know. A, a wise man with a white mustache near here. You should see him. He's in Hotcha Springs, just on the other side of Glug Glug Lagoon. Yes, old man Lobber. To get him, you have to go through Big Squiddy. Be careful. All right, I will. So, wait, do you have anything else to say? Just out of curiosity. Oh, oh yeah, you do. Oh, what Kitfish didn't say is that Big Squiddy tried to nab off, so we went to Hotcha Springs. He picked me right up. Oh, it's true. I beat him back with my belly, and he barely escaped. He is the best sumo wrestler in history. Anyway, <laughs> let's go through the level now for realsies, and there's already a save point right here, despite there being a way to save right on the map. <laughs> This game is really, really generous with the save points in general. Uh oh, it's Big Squiddy again! Bring it on! Your tentacles will not get me. Ugh! And just a few hits will take care of you for good. Well, until it's boss time. <laughs> yeah, I did a really bad job against Big Squiddy my first run through it. It was just because I was messing around a lot. All I would have had to do was just like stand in one place and then just use the fire and I would have been good to go. I uh, got anything new to say here, Globerto? Stop me. Ah, oh, quite the traveler already, I see. Enjoying your adventure, my friend. Want to return to the map? No, thank you. And another save point. <laughs> Ooh, Mo looks excited. Let's find some treasure. I found some treasure. <laughs> That didn't take long to find at all. And I got a guard uniform for the stuff screen. So, ah! Dang you! How dare you whack- Oh shoot. How dare I spin too fast! Urgh. Uh, uh, I'll explain why I've been spinning so poorly uh, lately. It has to do with bas basically that I've been practicing the game and... Um... You kind of... <laughs> You kind of get an upgrade to this move, which changes the timing of your spin. So that's what's kind of throwing me off here, because I practiced the game and I'm used to the, the powered-up version of this spin, basically. So yeah, that's kind of the issue that I've been having with it. it. It'll just take me a bit to get used to it, is all. Hey, look who it is. It's the mysterious bunny. You bad guys again? Stay back! Get away from me! How many times have I got to tell you, kid? We're not the bad guys. Sheesh! We came to give you back this lame crystal thingamajig you keep dropping. But if there were any, I mean, if there are any bad guys around, Starfy here would have hit him with his star spin. Star spin? What's that? Who's Starfy? I'm Starfy. What? Yeah, it's, it just pops in like I'm Starfy with the dialogue, but I don't know. <laughs> this here is Starfy, and I'm here, and I'm his legendary, handsomely shelled best friend, Mo. We're really worried about you. Are we all right, kid? Yes, I think so. Well, if you aren't bad guys, you're certainly persistent guys. <laughs> Thanks. Persistence is our specialty. That and homemade sea urchin nachos. Mmm, sounds delicious. <laughs> so, what's going on? I mean, come on, let's start at the beginning. What's your name? My name? I it's Bunsen. I don't know where I came from. My mind is totally blank. Whenever I try to remember, 
my head starts hurting. When I, when I saw that shard, I remember my name. A little of my memory came back. All I know is that there was, there, there was guys chasing me, and I was protecting something. So, that's why you mistook us for a couple of creeps, eh? But what were you protecting? What are those bad guys going after? Whatever it is, it must be something really important. Ah, you frightened me! Please stop doing that! What are you, what are you saying? I don't know, Starfy doesn't seem to talk. Ah, <laughs> oh, great. Starfy says he wants to help you find your lost memories. Sure, why not? Not like we have anything better to do, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, I refuse to burden you two with my problems. No, it's fine, now that I think about it. You really don't have anything better to do. <laughs> Mo is just so blunt. Hey, when you clobbered that squid, you did some magic transformation, didn't you? I could transform Starfy again using my Monstar power. I feel a connection between us. One puff of Monstar's fire breath and I bet those weeds will be nothing but burnt crisp. Yay, Starfy cheers. But I can't transform the Monstar alone. Ready to team up against Starfy? Yes, I am. So, just jump right into the speech bubble. And you transform. Woo! And blow away the fire with the Y button. Yeah! You can pretty much keep this fire up like this through the whole area and just scorch everything in your path. It's pretty broke it in the areas that it's at. Oh, new enemy. That was a tough guy. I mean, tough guy, excuse me. T-U-F-T, -T, I kind of mispronounced it. <laughs> anyway, that was the end of the area, and there's another save point. <laughs> well, it's the early game, so of course, the last saves, I suppose, to remind people of saving, I suppose. Hey, look, it's another one. Yay! Um, there's two paths you can take this time, the upper path and the lower path. I'm gonna start with the lower path, I suppose, and just kind of loop around back to the upper path as I go around, like, say, over here or something like that. And I'll... Yeah! Jumping, not all that intuitive. Blah, there we go. <laughs> and this is where the paths would lead up. This is a, a fairly non-linear area. I mean, both, both pathways oops, do lead over to the right either way. It's just the thing of, I just wanted to show you uh, all the paths and that you have multiple paths to take and I'm looking for something in this area I think oh well, this is a dead end this isn't the place that I'm thinking of <laughs> I should have just scorched that while I was down here before but no no I thought that was another path I should just stand in the center here and jump 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 there we go Arr, you're so clunky feeling in comparison to Starfy <laughs> but you're ridiculously powerful so I guess it's a balance. And no, no, this isn't the area that I'm thinking of that has something. I was thinking of something at the bottom right corner of the screen, but nothing was there on this screen at least. Oh, that was simple as carrot cake! We made it through the weeds with no problem. This crystal brought some memories back. But what is it? What is the shard? Hmm, I wonder. Yes, Starfy. Why, I believe that you're right. It looks like it broke off of something. That means if we found what it broke off of, we could connect them together. And perhaps my memory will come back. Starfy, I'd like to give you a gift for your help thus far. And Bunston's collection has been added to the touch screen, uh, which you'll be able to see right here. It, uh, heart gems are something that you get in treasure chests, and getting three will increase your life by one heart at a maximum of 10 and it'll also show you your progress on shards and stuff like that and it'll also replace the uh, bottom I mean it'll swap out on the bottom screen so I'm just going to click over to Mo because he is our treasure sniffer after all so yeah I wonder if I should hide the cursor on the screen or something like that I don't know I, I think the cursor is a good representation of the stylus since I am um, you know, playing this on an emulator because I can't record my DS via any regular means or anything like that. Wait a second, isn't there something good up here? Or at least some pearls or something like that? Yeah, lots of pocket change! That's a really quick way to recover your health if for whatever reason you're low on health. I don't know how you could possibly manage that, but yeah. <laughs> Wait, what's down here? What is... Ooh, more pearls. More, more pocket change and health. Money is power. Okay, kind of. <laughs> and there's a door here. What could this door lead to? Why, it's another treasure chest. And wow, he's Mo is really excited there because we're close right at the start. 
Woo! Just press the Y button to activate these things. They're similar to barrel cannons in Donkey Kong Country. And whoop! There we go. That's why I came down through here. Calling all challengers pamphlet, which means it's at the note screen. Come one, come all, if you dare challenge a sumo, sumo master who laughs in the face of Big Squiddy, come see me, a legendary wrestler Fat Cat. Perhaps we'll battle Fat Cat later on in the sumo match of the century. Um, was there anything else around here? Just the seaweed? No, I guess not. Thought there might have been something else over there. Anyway, there's another door down this way. Which leads to a, uh, a new area, of course. But you gotta follow the path, of course. <laughs> don't know why I'm saying that when you can see what's going on. I don't know, I'm just trying to fill the commentary void, I guess you could say. Uh, what's up here? Oh, I still gotta repractice that. I see there's another breakable wall over there, but I don't think I can get it from this side. I think I absolutely must. Oh, wait, I, I totally missed this. So this was the path that led to that one. Doesn't mean it's gonna, going to lead to a uh, treasure chest. In fact, I think the path to a uh, treasure chest, I mean, uh, path to the uh, minigame area that Mo is hinting at here is a, uh, a relatively easy to get spot. I mean, you know, it's like right out in the open. But we'll see how things go, I suppose, if this is the place that I'm thinking of. Uh, oh, I should have defeated him first. This is the way back. Oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> I gotta go back around and take on the Goblop once more. Well, it's another Goblop. I'm not sure if it's the same one because I killed the other one. Wait, what? what? Where did... Where did... Oh! <laughs> you, you move faster than I thought you did. Give me that key! Yay! And popping the key out of the bubble will unlock this door. Yeah, there's some doors that require keys in this game. And as you can tell, this is a special side quest door, which is exactly what we're looking for. Starfy, Starfy, you're super famous, right? Um, wait, what are you famous for again? Duh! <laughs> I bet you'd even, you'd be even more famous if you wrestled my dad. He's the strongest dad in the world. Huh? Huh? What do you say? Ah, okay, I'll wrestle him. All you have to do is push Fat Cat over to the right side, to the flag, and you will be good to go. It, it's kind of kind of ironic that he said that he doesn't know what Starfy's famous for, and not a lot of people know about this game. It just pains me to see that. <laughs> it's like it's ironic yet it pains me to see that. But I, uh, <laughs> I know the joke in game is that Kitfish doesn't really know Starfy all that much besides you know him being a prince, but <laughs> off off of the game you know it, it has more meaning to me than that. You really did it. You did it. Wow, here's your prize! It's a secret place that's lots of fun! And Secret 3 got added to the map, so that is the last secret place of the world. So we are good to go in that regard. Oh, I should also show you something. And if you click on Mermaid here, um, over here, uh, if you collect everything in a world, there will be a little metal over there uh, that will indicate that you've got everything in there without you having to go and check back at the map or something like that. So that's telling you that there's a little bit more left to this. And maybe I should continue getting pearls. I'm gonna need a lot of pearls. There's something in the game that costs 9,999 pearls, which is basically your max out inventory. And I spun too fast again, dang it. <laughs> dang it, dang it, dang it. Let's <laughs> probably check all the seaweed. The seaweed is my nemesis of hiding stuff. And ooh, boss door. Starfy, ah, oh, quite the travel already, I see. Enjoying your adventure, my friend. Want to return to the map? No, 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 no. Not gonna happen. Wait, did I, did I miss something? Did I miss a treasure chest? I might have. Yeah, I think I did it, because I didn't get the medal on the screen. Hmm. Hey, Starfy, Starfy! Oh, hey, you too. Hey, to you too, Clammy. <laughs> what? Sheesh, Starly! Don't Starly my, like that! I just about coughed up a pearl! Startled? I should be the one who, st who startled! Puff Top is a disaster! What have you two been up to? And you better tell the truth, or I'm telling on you! It was all Starfy's idea! He is the one who. Wait a sec, how did you find us here? <laughs> Even though it was. Well, I guess it was kind of Starfy's idea that he got pulled into it. I'm the Roly World Princess of Puff Top! The least I can do is find my lunkhead brother! Aw, who's this cute little guy? 
This is Bunston. Starfy, <clears throat> Starfy thought it'd be a great idea to chase after this kid, and now he's roped, and now he's roped me into some kind of adventure to get this kid's memory back. And I cannot read today clearly. <laughs> wow, he's a cutie. Hello there, little Bunston pie. I am more than just a cute face. I'm, I'm a. Oh, I can't remember what I am. I'm just teasing you, silly. I just noticed. To... Oh, my man, my voice between the two is just way too similar. I just noticed. <laughs> I'll work on that, I guess. I just wanted to see what kind of trouble you guys are making. With Starfy gone, it'll be nice to let a girl get a little credit for keeping the kingdom safe. But if you need me, we'll just look up Puff Top and give me a call. I like adventures too, you know. Normally I insist on being Starfy's bodyguard, but I guess Clammy can handle that. <laughs> and whenever you see Mo, you can now call Starly for help, but um, you require a uh, multiplayer wireless connection thingy. It doesn't, doesn't have to be Wi-Fi, it can be local. But uh, yeah, it's not going to be something that I'll be covering because I'm, an, I'm in an emulator, come on! <laughs> That's Starly. She has no respect for calling me Clammy. I got a name, you know. Want to play with Starly? No. Ooh, can't do that. So, we got this rather ominous cloud over here. In fact, there's a very ominous cloud here, and if we go into the darkness, we can face off against the big squiddy! And this is the place that I prefer to be at, is in the center of the screen, as opposed to off to the side, because of that side attack. But maybe he only does it in this version of the boss battle. Anyway, I'm going to actually try to do this boss battle well this time. <laughs> like, as in without taking a hit or something. <laughs> Because I was just embarrassing my first run through the easiest boss in the game. And there we go. See how easy that is? <laughs> I mean, it seemed way too hard just because I was trying to get to the center and I didn't have to get to the center. And do the Starfy! Woo! Level complete! Although, I'm still a little puzzled as to why I didn't get a medal on the uh, <clears throat> screen. Unless this, unless it counts these as well with the metals, you know, the, uh, these shards. Wowza, they glued themselves together. We gotta hurry up and find those shards. Come on! Yeah, yeah! We're heading to Hotcha Springs. Old Man Lobber loves hot water. I wonder who Old Man Lobber is like. He always helps us out a pinch. But we're not going to go there just yet, because there's a couple more levels to do in this world, of course. Determined to help Bunston find his lost memories, Starfy and his friends set off for Hotcha Springs in search of Old Man Lauer. And you can go over to World 2 now if you'd like, but that's not what I'm going to do here. I just want to see, did I or did I not 100% 1-4? I did, so let me, let, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> My finger slipped. I want to go back in. Oops. Ah, Xbox pad. I want to go over to this just to see if I got the medal from. Uh, yeah, I thought there, there should be. A, I, mean, I thought there would be a medal. Maybe that's not what the medals mean then. Hmm. Because. Hmm. I thought that. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go back to another level just to show you what I mean here. Because I thought I seen a medal on... No? Where did I get... What? Hmm. Where did I see there was a medal on the bottom screen? And I seen it on video, too. No? Uh... Is there special requirements for that metal, like getting a certain amount of pearls that I... Yeah, because at this point there isn't going to be any partner because of the game's storyline. Uh... Hmm... Hmm... <laughs> I must have missed some sort of detail when it came to that little uh, metal thing on the... the touch screen. Yeah, there's not one here either. So what? Huh. I don't know what they want out of me for that metal. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to end off the part here because I'm slightly puzzled. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.